Today I want to show you guys how to turn LED on and off with an Arduino Uno and a couple of push button switches. Now this is pretty simple and some of you may be thinking well who cares it's just an LED. There are a ton of other uses for a setup like this. So let's say you have a robot that you have a couple of bumper switches on and when the switch hits you want it to change directions. This come in handy for that kind of application and a lot of other things. So don't think that this is just limited to blanking an LED uh, or turning the LED on and off rather with the push of a button. You can use this to turn anything on and off, uh, whether it's a motor, a fan, an LCD display. It's just pretty much limitless what you could do with this kind of circuit. Now I've already wired it up and I want to quickly go over the circuit. You notice there, there's two push button switches here and here and this third one off to the side. I have that there because the orientation of these switches is pretty important. Some of the, the, there's four pins, okay, and some of them are connected internally. So if you don't put them in the breadboard in the right, you know, orientation, it won't work. And we see we have this little gap here, and I made sure that there's two legs on one side and two on the other. Now, you might be wondering, okay, well, which, which two legs, you know, are connected and which ones aren't? To figure that out, I just grab my trusty little ohmmeter here. And um, we can see that, okay, those two are connected, and then these two here are not, unless I push the button, then it connects. So that's the right way to orient these push button switches. Real quickly, we have, of course, one ground wire here right to the Arduino ground pin, and then we have these three blue jumper wires. Um, they are grounds for the push button switches, and then the cathode of this LED would be grounded. Okay, and then we have a 150 ohm resistor on the anode, and you know that value really is critical. Anything from 120 to 220, 250, you know, depending on how bright you want it, should work. But you definitely want to have some kind of resistor, at least 100. I wouldn't go less than that. And then we have that LED connected to pin 5, or digital pin 5. Also, we have one of the switches with this yellow jumper going to pin, looks like pin 9, and then this blue jumper over here on the other switch going to pin 8. So, I've already wired this up, and I've already written a simple program to make this work. I'm going to demonstrate it, then we'll get into the program a little bit here. So let me plug in the Arduino. Okay, and the code should be uploaded. Let's see. Okay, so on and the other button off. On, off. Pretty simple stuff. So let's cut on over and take a quick look at this code. It's real simple. Hey everybody, I know I said we were going to get into the code, but before we talk about code, I wanted to show you guys a schematic, courtesy of Fritzing again, so you know how to wire it and we could talk really quick about how it works. So it's pretty simple. We can see here we have our LED with a current limiting 220 ohm resistor. Always gotta have some kind of current limiting resistor. 220 is a good value. You can use a little less, a little more. But anyway, we have that connected to pin five. And then here we have two push button switches. And you'll notice that one is on pin eight, the other on pin nine. And they're tied together, tied to ground. So when you push them, pin 8 and 9 is going to seal low. But you'll also notice that unlike our last lesson, where we had one switch and a resistor connected to the switch, here we don't have any resistors at all except the one for the LED, of course. And there's a reason for that. Okay, There are what's called pull-up resistors built into the AT Mega 328 chip, which is a chip that powers the Arduino Uno. And these can be accessed from software. The built-in pull-up resistors are accessed by setting the pin mode function as input pull-up. And we'll see this when we look at the software. And this effectively inverts the behavior of the input mode, where high means the sensor is off. If it was a sensor here, we're just using switches. And low means it's on. The value of the resistors is usually 20K to 50K ohms. Now, this is functionally and electrically equivalent to connecting a 50K ohm resistor between the pin and 5 volts. Only difference here is that it requires no external components, and you could turn it on and off in software during the execution of the program. 
When connecting a simple switch like we have here to a pin configured with input pull-up, the other end should be connected to ground as we can see here. This causes the pin to read high when the switch is open and low when it's pressed. So when wiring buttons or switches or anything normally open, and normally open just means it's, it's a, a spec for a switch or relay that describes whether the contact is open or not when there is no power applied. Okay, So whenever you have anything normally open, tie them to ground. You don't need to run 5 volts out to them, which is more convenient. Now let's take a closer look behind the 18 Mega 328P's digital pins. This block diagram came directly from the 18 Mega 328P's datasheet. 